Hi, I'm Joan from The Hack Life. This is the world's most powerful lightsaber. In a previous video, I showed you how I made what is the most powerful laser in the world with a power of 500 watts. I built it with recycled parts from old projectors. But let's discuss this. These lasers are rarely used now, especially in technology. For example, from projectors, which is where I got them. There are already better ways to do the same thing without having to use lasers, which is much safer. That's why I bought a lot of old projectors that did have them, and I took them apart and ended up keeping them. With eight modules that together add up to 200 lasers of 2.5 watts each, that's about 500 watts of power combined. These modules use a mirror system to redirect everything in a single direction. So, taking advantage of this, I arranged them in a circular shape, trying to get them as close to each other as possible, so they form a continuous beam of light. I mounted all this on a 3D printed structure, made entirely from Grillon, 3 plastic filament, my preferred brand, for excellent results. And to give it power, I used a lithium polymer battery capable of delivering about 300 continuous amps and 5 laser voltage converters capable of handling more than 1000 continuous watts, ideal for our laser, which will only use about 500 watts. Still, it's unbelievable. It produces a light beam so intense that without protective glasses, it could instantly cause permanent blindness without even needing to look at it directly, just from the laser bouncing off the walls or the environment we're in. I also used it to burn and set fire to some things I had around my house. I recommend you watch the full video. I'll leave it here in the description and pinned in a corner so you can go check it out. But now, with the world's most powerful laser, I wanted to go further. Why not turn it into the most powerful lightsaber in the world? Since lately I've seen a lot of YouTubers who have made impressive lightsabers that burn things with fire. That's the mistake. Everyone uses fire for lightsabers, but no one makes one properly with a laser. So I set out not only to make the most powerful one, but also the biggest in the world, so they go hand in hand. I already had the laser, an impressive 500 watt laser capable of burning and setting anything on fire just by touching it. So it was up to me to build the lightsaber itself. First, I tried using wide zinc tubes, but they were very weak, so after searching a bit, I came across these. These are cardboard tubes, but it's a super tough cardboard, and they're also reinforced with steel rings. At the ends, the diameter was pretty good, but the height was a bit short for me, so I decided to buy two and join them together, since they have steel rings at the ends. It became super easy for me to join them. I just put one on top of the other and then welded them together by joining these rings. I think these drums were for grains or something similar. Now I have this structure that's a good size for my lightsaber. First, I had to figure out how to put the laser in an upper tip. So I printed a base, let's say it rested at the bottom of the drum and ended up at the perfect height to support the laser. But to make it less fragile, I filled all the side spaces with polyurethane foam, a foam that you pour in liquid form and it expands, sealing everything. I also made a hole on the side to install a button that I could use to turn the laser on and off. This would be like the activator, like the power button. Now I mounted the laser on the tip and used more foam to seal the gaps. So it's secure, centered, and stays in place. I needed to tweak it a bit to look like a lightsaber since it was so big. It was really hard for me since I'm not good at anything related to art, but I did the best I could. First, I painted the cans with chrome gray to give them a metallic look using a darker metallic shade for the bottom. Once everything looked metallic, I was done. I used tape and black paint to make lines, trying to decorate it a bit more realistically with more personalized details. And for the lid, I simply used one of the can lids and cut a hole in the middle where the beam of light will go through. I painted it gold to make it look nicer and that's how it turned out. I'm not gonna say it's an out of this world design, but I think it turned out pretty nice. And just like that, it was ready. I put one of the batteries inside, connected everything, flipped the safety switch, put the cover on, 
and it was ready to test. I live in the city. Last time, I tested it on a building rooftop, but now I wanted to try it farther away in the countryside, free from light pollution. I also wanted to use my drone to film its range. After a long drive, I reached a deserted spot ideal for testing it. By the river so we won't bother or accidentally blind anyone. Since the lightsaber was too big, we had to put it on the roof of the car and turn it into a sort of cannon. And this is how the laser looked when it was on. Unfortunately, our vision only lets us see it up to a certain distance. But in this case, we took the drone and flew it a couple of kilometers. Actually, as far as it allowed me without the drone losing signal with the controller. We recorded it there. As you see, the laser keeps going and extends far. In my last video, many people asked me to point it at the moon to see if it would reach or be visible. But that would be impossible. Keep in mind that any laser, when fired, the beam of light spreads out and expands, kind of like in a cone shape, let's say, by the time it reaches the moon. It would be so big that it would be impossible not to notice it. For this, we would need a special lens that focuses the laser right on the moon. It's something that only National Aeronautics and Space Administration can afford. So if any other YouTuber says they did it, you can be 100% sure it's a lie. Still, in my opinion, the laser is still impressive and also has an incredible amount of power. But anyway, the laser also has other uses. Not everything is so destructive. For example, we couldn't find anyone to lend us a lighter to light a cigarette, so we ended up lighting it with the laser. We saw the police pass by, but they said nothing to us. Watch the previous video to see everything I burned with the laser and its power. Don't forget to subscribe to support me in making better videos. See you next time. Bye.